Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Just wanted to share a quick how-to video today. Um, now you guys know my channel is mainly about watch reviews and product reviews. Uh, but you know whenever I learn how to do something or I figure something out, I really find it's uh, beneficial to just share it with my channel. And what I just want to share with you uh, is if you ever run across a situation with your microwave, there's a very, very easy fix if it turns out to be the problem that I had. And what had happened the other day, I opened up my microwave, and this is a pretty old microwave, but it works for, you know, my purpose. It matches uh, my kitchen, of course. Um, you know, I got the microwave probably over 10 years ago. And uh, one thing I can't stand doing is replacing something um, that's... I don't really get any enjoyment out buying a new microwave, you know what I mean? Unless I was moving into a new home or something like that and gutting the place, uh, like I did when I moved in here and doing a remodel. Um... You know, a microwave that it's just a it's just it's a it's just an appliance that we use and we depend upon. And the other day I, I opened it up, it was pretty dirty. I, I was giving it a good cleaning and I sprayed the inside with uh, like uh, some Windex basically. And what had happened was I, I cleaned the microwave, it you know it turned out you know much better than it was. Uh, still needs a good cleaning, so bear with me here. But um, what had happened was there's this little plate on the inside of here, it looks like a piece of cardboard, and I always wondered what it was. And Mine had become kind of coated with food and grit, and there were some burned-on particles that were kind of greasy on there. And when I sprayed that, um, something must have happened with that grease that was in there or whatever might be caked on there. Uh, maybe the board became damaged. Either way, what had happened was, next thing you know, I tried to start, start the microwave, and it started to arc right behind that cover. And it actually darkened uh, some of the interior right here. We can see it looks like a little like electrical fire almost. And I was like, oh, that's not good. And, you know, last thing I want to do is replace something. This, I mean, this is not like a new watch, folks. This is just a microwave, you know. So I was getting ready to go out and buy a new Samsung microwave. I was like, all right, you know, that's the time. 150 bucks. Okay, no big deal. But like I said, I just... I, I mean, the microwave still looks fine. It still worked. So every time I'd start it up again, it would do the same thing. So out of desperation, I just kind of Googled, you know, exactly, you know, uh, microwave sparking. Because it was just, it was too coincidental. It just happened right after I just gave it a cleaning. So I feared maybe there was a light bulb behind there. I didn't know if that was like a cover or a light there or what it was. Because I never actually really uh, looked in the microwave, you know, and really gave it a good once over. I just kind of used it, you know, like most people do. And what I discovered that that wasn't actually a light bulb in there. And I took that cover off. And I found that there's something underneath there called the Magnetron. And that looked like it was pretty clean. So I was like, you know, I took that plate off and I tried it again. And the thing started arcing. And what arcing looks like is like if you were, you know, watching somebody well. It's extremely bright light. And this particular one made this really kind of like a, like a 60 hertz frequency tone. It was like a bzzz, like a, like a loud buzzing noise. And it's pretty violent looking. So I was like, whoa, it, you know, it had a really bad odor. Now, I don't really know what that odor was coming off there. If it was... Uh, maybe something coming off that that piece of it's not cardboard that plate either way it kind of freaked me out so I took the microwave out unplugged it and uh, I started doing a little research what I found that that cover is actually called mica board and what that does it helps to focus I guess uh, that the, the magnetron is basically where the microwaves enter uh, and I'll open that up again for you if you take that off of there if you were to pop that plate off you'd see the magnetron under there and what that does that's where all the microwaves enter the microwave, all that energy. And this thing, from what I've read, helps to diffuse that energy to heat the food more evenly. And that's what I read. I've seen two different stories. That's what I've what I've come to conclude. And uh, what I found is I found that a lot of people, a lot of videos I found in Europe and other countries, it's kind of an easy fix. So I said, rather than go out and spend $150 on a new microwave, let me just go ahead and try to get my hands on some mica board. Now I called all over the place, Home Depot, Lowe's, looked everywhere. And it's just something that's very difficult to find locally. But I called a few uh, appliance repair guys, and luckily one guy, and several of the appliance stores who service the stuff didn't have this stuff in stock. It's normally just a piece that you would buy as a replacement. But when you have a 10-year-old microwave, you're not going to find one. So what I did is I was lucky enough to have this really nice gentleman from a local appliance shop. He said, man, I'll go ahead and just cut you a piece. So he cut me a piece of mica board, it's called. And uh, I, I had him cut it a little bit over. I went and picked it up today. Took it into my garage. I used the old mica board. And what basically these are just clipped in. With this, there's little tabs here on the microwave. This is a Sunbeam microwave. There's this little plastic, uh, like screw-looking thing. It's like a little rivet, and I just basically just pried that up, grabbed it with a plier, popped it off, pulled out that microboard, used as a template, 
drilled a new hole where that uh, little rivet is on the new piece so that we can attach it. Uh, what you do is you, I just scored it with an X-Acto knife and just bent it really easily and it split. Uh, very straightforward. Put it in there and the microwave works perfectly. So, uh, guys, just wanted to share that with you. I'm really glad. I'm pr pretty happy with that. I love when I don't have to go out and spend money on something that I know I can get more life out of. Uh, it was a free fix, basically. So, if you find that your microwave all of a sudden starts to randomly spark, go ahead and check that cover. If you find it's distorted or missing or has a hole in it, it needs to be replaced. Now, you can find a uh, mica board on, uh, through other countries, United Kingdom, Canada, and uh, I found, uh, going you know, through eBay, I found uh, Hong Kong or China, those kinds of places. Um, very difficult to find it locally. And, you know, microwave, I don't want to wait 20 days to get this stuff. So you might find it locally if you had, a, you know, an issue like that. Call around. You might even be able to find It's all universal. So if you have the issue, maybe you can get your hands on a piece of mica board that uh, is for a different microwave but a little bit bigger. And you can just cut it down to size or cut the shape out. Not rocket science. It's pretty straightforward. It's worth trying if your microwave starts to act up as maybe a quick fix. Uh, mine works perfectly now, no issues whatsoever. So if you have any questions, guys, go ahead and drop a comment uh, or drop me a message and I'll try to help you out. I'll go ahead and put a link in description for any kind of um, resources or, of course, those eBay links for Micaboard. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Have a great day.